Hi everybody, Rick Mast here. I guess I'm the only living human being in this country that has yet to weigh in on the fiasco that was Richmond Sunday night, right? Well, there's a couple reasons for it. Number one, I was a little incapacitated for a couple days, a little under the weather, and when I finally started coming out of that and feeling better, it was last night, which is Tuesday night, and I'm thinking, I don't know I want to be talking. Let's just wait on NASCAR's verdict. Well, NASCAR handed down the verdict. As we all know, Austin Dillon, his win was not stripped, but he, he's not eligible for the playoffs, okay? Now, this goes to a long, this goes to a big, much bigger, much bigger, much bigger thing going on here. This goes back to one of the reasons Tony Stewart left as a driver. One of the reasons some of the veteran drivers are, oh man, disgusted with the way we drive now. I'm not disgusted, but just not their way, the way they were taught. You know, we know when we have a green-white checkered that probably somebody's going to get wrecked. Whoever's leading at the green-white checkered is probably not going to win. And the guys, they just, you know, they instead of racing, they knock each other out of the way. That's, way. that's the way it's been going for a while, right? We all agree to that. And, uh, you know, like with me, man, if I had to drive today in today's world, I wouldn't make it. I just... You know the 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 way the guys do, and I'm I'm not knocking what they do. That's just the way of the land. That's just the lay of the land now. It's, that's the way they do it, and you know it just didn't work. It wouldn't have worked in my time in my era. Just we did it differently. So with this penalty, you know the end result. The end result of what Dylan did really is no different than what we've seen many guys do many times. I mean you. You bump and run, you move the guy out, sometimes he hit the wall, sometimes he spin, they wreck, they do the deal. But never have we had anything like this taken away, like it was taken away from Dylan, right? The, and I guess we all know that all the drivers, everybody's fussing about, you know, the rubbing and the bumping and the moving guys out of the way. But, you know, there's never that line that you that NASCAR, I think, felt like you crossed that they would have to step in. Well, the line's been determined. It, it's now four car lengths. If you're four car lengths back, or three, maybe it was three, and you make a hard effort to go in there and just turn the guy, we're not going to allow that to happen. All right? Well, if you're two car lengths back or one car length back and you bump the guy and move him out of the way and win, then or spin the guy. I mean, we've spent, we've seen plenty, plenty of times when the guy in second place hits the guy in first and actually spins him, and the guy goes on and wins the race, right? And no penalties. But this time NASCAR took a stance, and I'm telling you something, guys. It's the it's the eye test. This thing it did not pass the eye test, right? And the problem with NASCAR on their side is, you know, what what what, what passes the eye test? What you know from here on out? If a guy's one car length behind and bumps the guy and gets by him. Right, and he happens to spin. All right, that's okay if he's two car if he's three car lengths back and catches him and runs into him and spins him. Do we do the same thing? I don't know where that line is. I don't know that NASCAR really knows where that line is. And the, I believe me, guys, when I tell you this, NASCAR does not want to own this. They don't want to have to get in the middle of this. The best thing about our sport is all. One of the best things about our sport has always been. Self policing. We take care. Our, our, the drivers take care of it themselves, right? We always have. It's a self policing sport. NASCAR does. Last thing we want to do. They want to do is step in and do something like this when these things go on. And, but this thing, the the eye test was so bad on this that I guess they felt like they had to do something. And, you know, keeping the dude out of the playoffs or, or making that one where he can't get in the playoffs. That was. Uh, that's pretty big, you know. Probably if they'd have took the win and kept him in the playoffs, which you couldn't do that, right? But they, the way they did it, to me, they just set themselves up for, all right, we're going to have to start policing this, and I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that down the road, you know, we're going to get in some more back and forwards. He should have done this. They should have done that. NASCAR didn't do this. NASCAR did do that, you know. I just feel like they're opening themselves up for, Gosh, more scrutiny when these things happen. If they make it, if they come out with a penalty, or they don't come out with a penalty, right? And who's involved and who's not involved? That that's that's the muddy, 
the, the muddy waters part of this that I just detest, that I hate. You know, I wish, you know, I wish NASCAR don't penalty, penalize him. The, the next week, 22 car takes care of the three. Or the first week of the playoffs, you take care of the three. You, right? you police it yourself. You know, you, you take care of it yourself. But, you know, the eye tests and the social media and everybody fussing and raising cane about this deal, you know, you know, they, 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 you know, I mean, basically, the drivers back NASCAR into a corner. They don't want to do this, but they've had to do it. They've had to step in. I would not like to be NASCAR's hierarchy figuring this thing out from here on. You know, the deal, and to go get a little more detail, you know, if maybe if Dylan had went in there and maybe just got him without wrecking him or said, man, I didn't mean to wreck him. I just meant to try to get him loose. I don't know if any of that would have mattered. I, I don't blame Dylan for the for Hamlin wrecking. The way I've looked at it, you know, if Hamlin could have kept it down low, I think maybe that it went on. Who, who knows about all that? But anyhow, and then they find Logano for the deal on pit road, which is, you know, rightfully so. You just don't do that. Then people are fussing about, well, we got all the people on pit road. Well, what I saw was mainly pit crew members on pit road, except for the winning team. The winning team is where all the mob of people were, and that's where Joey got himself a little bit of trouble there. And I get it when people are saying these people shouldn't be out there. I mean, NASCAR, they'll, they'll address that. But, but, man, going back to the, to the penalty, I mean, that's a stout penalty, guys. I mean, it's, you, we're taught. The drivers are taught. Sponsors, everybody's taught. Win and you're in. What do they say? Win and you're in. Win and you're in. Dylan won. He's in. Three days later, guess what? He's not in. You know, he's out. He's out. <laughs> right? So, golly bum, we can, we can go into this a little bit more in depth in the detail, but that's my first reaction to this. I think I'll get some more stuff going here and let y'all know a little bit, a little bit more about this tomorrow. Anyhow, I'm still coming out of my little incapacitated deal, not feeling the greatest, but I guess what? Look here. See this? This is a bed. You know where I'm at? Again? Again? I'm at the ocean. I'm at the ocean again, folks. That's right. All this excitement going on with NASCAR. And I'm at the ocean. But I reported tomorrow again. I'll be reporting tomorrow again on this stuff, guys. Toodaloo!